Nothing hurts the narcissist more than this. Nothing causes them more pain and suffering than this one thing. Nothing irritates them more. And there is nothing more fulfilling than irritating a narcissist. Because when you do that, it means that you have won. You have defeated them. And if you don't defeat them, you're just giving them an opportunity to defeat you. Narcissists are all the same. They all play the same game. You have to deal with all of them the exact same way because there's only one thing they understand and that is rejection. They understand when you reject them, when you want nothing to do with them, when you go no contact, because they know when they've done something wrong. They know why you don't want anything to do with them. And they're forced to reflect on that only when you reject them. Because as long as you remain around them, they're going to think that how they're treating you is okay. They look at it like, if you were really upset with them, why would you still be around them? And if you don't seem to be upset with them, that must mean they're not doing anything wrong. So you need to show them that how they're treating you is not okay. And you do that by rejecting them, which is also retribution. It is your opportunity to have justice. Because there's nothing that hurts the narcissist more than rejection. When you move on without the narcissist, you will find that life gets a lot better. You become happier and healthier without them because now you're able to attend to yourself. While the narcissist always gets worse, which is why they will decide to return to you. They will try to come back whenever it suits them. Especially when they see that you're doing better without them. And that is when you need to reject them because that's what will hurt them the most. At that moment, everything they did to you is destroyed. All of the work they put in to manipulate and control you has now gone to waste. It becomes irrelevant at that point because they know you're never going to give them another chance. They can feel your detachment. They can see that you're better off without them. So they may insult you. They may try to sabotage what you're trying to build. Because there's just no incentive for them to act right. When they know that you don't want anything to do with them. Because now you are making the decision to take a morally superior approach to this situation by working on yourself, becoming a better person and creating a better life for yourself. Because now you have made it through the struggles, you overcame the trials and tribulations and you just don't want to go through that again.
You already know what they're about. You've already seen what they're capable of. And you just don't want to put yourself in that situation anymore. As Albert Einstein has said, the definition of insanity is doing the same thing over and over again and expecting a different result. No matter how many times you return to them and try to make things work, nothing is going to change. You're not going to get a different result. The more you return to them, the worse it gets because you're just showing them what you're willing to tolerate, what you're willing to forgive. When the narcissist does something to you and you return to them, it tells them to ramp it up even more. It's only when you leave and go no contact that they realize they can't get away with certain things. When you reject the narcissist, they will feel it. It will affect them. Nothing hurts the narcissist more than this. And it's really the only way that you can deal with them. Because as long as you're around them, they will make you overthink. They will make you overanalyze everything. They will make you anxious. They will drive you insane if you let them because they're not on your level. They're underdeveloped people. So all they can do is bring you down. They cannot raise your spirits. They cannot benefit you in any way. All they can do is destroy. So stop trying to build them up. Stop trying to put them on your level. They do not belong there. Which is why they're constantly trying to pull you down. Because they already know that they don't belong where you are. They don't feel comfortable where you are. So all they can do is bring you down. They're not going to try to build anything with you. They're never going to take you seriously. All they're ever going to do is mock you and treat you like a joke. All of their actions and words should only reflect back to you that they are trying to bring you down because that's all they can really do. They can't pull you up because they don't have the means to do that. They would have to be on your level at the very least to be able to benefit you in any way. So stop trying to make them into something they're not. Let them be who they are. Let them return to the hole where they belong and move on with your life. Move on to bigger and better things. Things that you are destined for. Things that you are capable of. Not everyone can go with you. Not everyone has the required qualities to get there. But despite what they've said to you, you do have everything you need to get there. They just wanted to make you doubt yourself because they didn't want to see you going off on your own. They wanted you to think that they were the missing piece to your puzzle. The one thing that was missing from your life.
the one thing that was preventing you from being the person that you were meant to be. And they especially wanted you to think like that if they chose to leave you. But the missing piece was within you all along. It's just that the narcissist was always distracting you so that you couldn't see it. The narcissist was never what you were missing. You never needed them at all. They were the one thing that was holding you back. The one thing that was preventing you from being the person that you were destined to be. Thank you for watching. I hope this video resonated with you. Please like, comment, share and subscribe. If you would like to donate, my PayPal link is in the video description. Coaching inquiries, you can email me at coaching at narcsurvivor.co.uk. Thank you for watching and I'll talk to you soon.